Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. I was inspired by the springtime, so I made this a lilac smoky eyes. And in this video, I am using a lot of affordable products. So if you want to see how I get this look, please keep on watching. For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use this CD color eyeshadow primer. It's my first time using this primer and the texture is a little bit way too waxy for my liking so I'm going to test it first on my lid. And I did set the primer with translucent powder but I was out of the frame so yeah. Next, I'm taking this color and blend it on my crease as well using the Zoeva 224 brush. Just a quick review, I don't like the primer. It made my eyeshadow looking patchy and as you guys can see in the camera, I'm having trouble blending my eyeshadow. <laughs> Next, I'm taking this darker color and using a pencil brush, I am placing this color on my outer corner, my crease and my inner corner. And blend the hard edges with a Zoeva 224 brush again. Then going in with City Color Shimmer Shadow in the shade Spring Fling, I'm placing this color on my lid using my finger. It's my first time using this city color shadow. The color is so pretty. The pigmentation is okay. You have to build up a little bit. The only one thing I don't like about this product is the strong chemical scent. It bothers me a lot during the application. Okay, let's move on to the face. I am priming my face with NYX Angel Veil Primer and put that everywhere. And I'm going to use my favorite foundation from the drugstore. And I'm going to conceal my dark circles because I need it. And to set the concealers, I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. Going in with the City Color Matte Bronzer in the shade Caramel Drizzle, I'm going to bronze my cheeks, my temples, my forehead, and my jawline. It's my first time using this bronzer and I like the color. It's similar to the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. It's not too pigmented but I'm okay with that so I like it. I like this bronzer. It's 
It's also my first time using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette And I got mine in the shade Dulce de Leche The undertone is really nice and it's really pigmented I love it Now going back to the eyes, I'm going to finish my lower lash line I decided to add more definition, so I'm taking this NYX pigment in the shade Sky Pink And placing that on my lids using a wet brush Using this city color spring fling shadow and placing that on my lower lash line only in the middle Going in with liquid liner, I'm going to line my lash line not going to make a wing And right now I'm just lining my waterline using this Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Guide Liner in the shade Purple I've been loving this city color spotlight highlight, it's a cream highlight and I'm using this as a base for my powder highlight So if you want super intense highlighting situation, you can trust this one Oh my god, I didn't realize I was using so many city color products I'm sorry If you watch me on snapchat, you know I love this highlight Do you see how beautiful it is? Oh my god And for the mascara, I'm using this Maybelline The Falsies and apply it on my top and bottom lashes For the lips, I'm using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London It's a perfect everyday warm nude color I'll be adding Z blush and it's city color. Oh my god, city color again. <laughs> Rosy cheeks in the shade Peony. Then I'm blending the blush with a duo fiber brush by Sigma. I'm going to put some falsies by RDZ in the style Midsummer Affair and it's their spring summer collection. It's so pretty and I love its image. So yeah, that wraps up this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, bye!